Okay guys, it's RM here. I hope you guys can hear me. I don't hear anything. Oh. Okay guys, it's RM here. Yes, you can hear me. Um, I tried to do this, um, this game so that um, I could play it on the Burnett Network and on Positive Fandom, and I can't seem to get it to work. But I'm going to figure it out. I forgot that I would have to kind of log out of one channel into another and I can't readily do it um, easily so um, guys I'm s I apologize for not being um, making it work but maybe I can figure out how to do it or maybe I'll just play separately if I can figure out how to broadcast through StreamYard um, somehow <laughs> but uh, I might play another game although and maybe do some other choices, but I just want to begin the game. Um, just want to thank Tom for listening to me. Thanks, Tom, for um, <laughs> for putting up with this. Um, and I know he's going to be joining me soon. But, um, hey, Hunter Becknell. How are you, Hunter? Hey, Hunter. I tried to get it to go on to both channels, but I couldn't do it. Because um, I'm going directly through my PlayStation 5, and I know if I used OBS, um, the broadcasting system, open broadcasting system, I probably would have been able to do it, but I wasn't, I wasn't fully prepared today. So um, I'm going to try and see if I can get it to work and ask some of the other experts of how to do it. Um, this is the, let me just go back for a sec. Um, uh, here's the game. This is obviously Star Trek Resurgence. And... Um, I've been dying to play this game, guys. Um, oh, man, I really wish I could put this on the Burnett Network live um, <clears throat> somehow, but I don't know how to do it, so I apologize, um, Hunter and everybody. Um, I'm playing it on Positive Fandom, but it's supposed to be on both channels, and I don't know how to broadcast it um, through YouTube. I wonder if YouTube... Maybe I could broadcast it through YouTube to another channel. I hadn't thought about that. Um, if anybody knows how to do that... <laughs> which I don't know if anybody really does know how to do that. I don't know if I know how to do that. I really didn't, I'm not really coming in here thinking that that's what I was going to do today, but um, let's just see here. Let me just see if I can go to the page and see if I can broadcast it to the network at the same time. Um, you remember we were talking about this, Tom? If Tom is there, God bless him. <coughs> Tom and I were talking about doing that and whether there was a way to kind of sh broadcast it to another channel. Um, but I don't really see it there. Like it would have told me, it would have said, it would have said, Hey, would you like to broadcast this to another channel at the same time through YouTube? So that's kind of like the last um, thing I'm looking at is I'm actually in YouTube, but it's not telling me that I can broadcast it to somewhere else. Yeah, Tom, you remember. Thanks Tom for even listening to this. Cause, um, Let's see. No, I don't want to report anything. I just wanted to go to the... <laughs> but guys, I'm so excited for this game. I've been waiting for this game forever. Um, let me just go back to the content section. Maybe it'll say, Hey, do you want to share this to another section? <laughs> but it doesn't. It doesn't say that. Um, maybe someone knows that um, it can be streamed to somewhere else at the same time. But... Um, yeah, Tom, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I couldn't remember how to um, share it. There's a, maybe it's because it's the app that you have to do that on. Um, and then it, it gets shared to another section. But um, yeah, it is, it is very funny that I don't know how to just go ahead and share it that way. Um, but if someone knew how to do it, I would definitely do it. So anyway... Guys, this is the... <laughs> thanks, Tom. This is the, the game. Um, it is Star Trek Resurgence. And uh, I think the graphics look really cool. I don't know how you guys feel about the graphics, but I think this is one of the best things I've ever seen in ages. Um, I just think it looks so nice. And I'm excited. I'm really excited to see how this is going to... Um, how it's going to turn out game-wise, as, as we were saying before. This is a Telltale game. So it's a little different type of gameplay. Uh, and I, as you can see, it says, follow us on Twitter. It's Dramatic Lab. So let's see what this game is like. If you've ever played 
um, the Walking Dead games, if you've ever played, um, uh, I can't remember the, um, the game, but it's a game by um, where it things like The Beast Among Us or something. They are Telltale games. It's going to be like a story. It's more story driven. So, um, you know, let's see what, what that would be like. Um, but yeah, I don't know how to really go ahead and broadcast this to another channel. I, I just know that there's a way to do it. It's just killing me that I can't do it. But um, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, isn't it isn't it amazing looking, Tom? That it would make a nice screensaver, wouldn't it? Um, so uh, yeah, that would be remarkable. Um, and I'm just curious as to how many of you are going to be playing this game. Um, this is just an unbelievable looking game, and I haven't even started. So let me start it. Maybe I will go ahead and play the game separately on the Burn Network if I can figure out how to do it through Streamyards. But right now I can't. I don't know how to do it through Streamyards, so. Um, I can't do both. This is so, so puzzling. But maybe someone will tell me. <laughs> maybe someone will tell me how to do it um, going forward. So um, thanks for the four of you who are watching it. Uh, gameplay show more. Oh, yes. That's all it says. It's gameplay. If any of you guys know how to broadcast it from YouTube over to StreamYards or some other um, area, let me know. Um, and I'll do that. Um, but in the meantime, I don't know how to do it. I, what is all, what is all this? Full screen, play on TV, theater mode. I've looked at all this stuff. This is, it's not on there. Even like the settings, that's just uh, the quality and such. Okay, so let's do this, guys. I'm pressing the play button. And I'm going to go into this empty slot where my head is. It's where my head is, like right there. And new game. So I hope it did it. Begin. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Star Trek Resurgence. This is a dramatic life adventure. The relationships and events you're about to experience will be shaped by the choices you make. Captain's log, stardate 57931.4. The crew is restless. After spending too many months piecing our ship back together, finally about to venture out on a new mission. Oh. And the crew isn't letting this unprecedented ion storm slow them down. They're ready for something different. I know I am more than any of them. Fortunately, nothing ever stays the same. It's entropy. The nature of the universe. Change is inevitable. And while entropy says order gives way to chaos, in this case, change is good. Our new first officer is en route to the Resolute. Jara Ryder. I know she'll bring a welcome dose of new blood to the crew. <gasps> R2. Shuttles are the worst. Here's a tip. Don't close your eyes. You'd think that would make it easier, but it only makes it worse. Look out the window, pick a star, and just focus on that. I'll give it a try. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little anxious. I hadn't noticed. I'm on my way to my first assignment. When we get to the Starbase, I'm transferring on to the Resolute. Hmm. So am I. 
It won't be easy for Chara to step in at the 11th hour like this. But if she's half the officer I knew she could become when she was a cadet at Starfleet Academy, she'll be the XO this ship needs right now. <laughs> Star Trek Resurgence! Based upon Star Trek, created by Gene Roddenberry. <laughs> Change of station. Check in at security. Use L to move. Gotcha. Use R2 to interact. A star base on the very edge of Federation space. Long way from home now. That's right. Welcome to Starbase 128, Starfleet Operational Support Services. Support services? All right, there's security. Uh, Commander? I'm not usually such a nervous wreck, by the way. I actually did well at the Academy. Oh, yeah? Maybe you've heard of the Torvalon test? Sounds familiar. It's a tactical simulator that makes the Kobayashi Maru look like a picnic on Pintaris 5. Anyway, I finished in the top 20. Not just in my class. I mean, all time, in the history of the Academy. Wow, that is very impressive. So, there's that. Really? That's quite impressive. Thank you. It was tough. But, you know, I set my mind to it, and it paid off. <laughs> Good for him. Please place your hand here. Okay. Out there for a few seconds. Got it. Um. How do I move my hand? Oh, scan hand. How do I move my hand? Like, it doesn't say. Um. Hey, Donnie Pearson. Scan hand. So what do we do? What do you press? I <laughs> hope everything's well. Thank you so much, Donnie. Thanks so much, Donnie. I'm trying to move my hand and I cannot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Donnie Pearson. Trek Yards and hello again, R and all, and happy Star Trek Resurgence Day! Hope everyone is still well. Yeah! Hey, Bonzo! Live long and prosper, Bonzo! Now I'm really... It's an honor to meet you, Commander. Sorry, I didn't realize before. I just came off the shuttle and was glad to be on solid ground. The pleasure is mine, Ensign... Paul Calloway. Good to meet you. I believe Commander Ermod is expecting you. He's in the concourse just ahead. See you on the Resolute. Absolutely. Find Commander Ermod. Repair status. Well, everything looks fine to me. What do you guys think? Look at that. Everything's great. Nothing's in the red. Operational... Like, oh, this one is 35%. We could boost that up, right? <laughs> Good day, sir. Um, I'm just checking out what's on the wall. Starbase 128, so small. I can't read that. Okay. <laughs> it's got an arrow telling me to go that way. You can't help but look on the wall, right? Like, wouldn't you look on here? 
I mean, we just had Picard 3 where they showed us all those panels. I can't help... I'd be looking at these panels. The storm report, okay. Two good things to know, whether the ship is operating to good capacity, uh, you know, and then have fun. <laughs> Gotta go. Take care, Bonzo Kilborn. Thanks so much. Here's another uh, status report kind of thing there, and there's even more here. Um, Strategic Applications Command Tech Center Expedite Initiatives. It's too far away. Dramatic Services, Dynamic Services Virtual Rooms. Hey, Thomas Bertholdi, how are you? Um, deliver corridor, I, I can't remember, conversion stores, step portals, integrated desks, and streamlines. Awesome. Awesome, guys. This is fun. Okay. Yep. There's a lot going on. A lot going on. If I remember my briefing, Commander Armand is a bully. So I'm looking for someone with blue skin. Oh, understood. Are you all right? Yeah, I, I'm just... Well, I'm not sure where my departure dock is. The Resolute's gonna leave without me. Look here. The Resolute is leaving from this dock. Ah, oh, you're right. Nerves must be getting to me. See you later, kid. Thanks so much, Commander. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. So we got all the... This is like the at the airport, honestly, <laughs> right? Hey, Darth Plato, how are you? Yeah, it's like being at the airport, you know, where they got this, the shuttles and where you have to go. Oh, look, there's a, is there a downstairs? Is it, are those stairs? No, it's not. It's just a lookout area. But it is that there is a lower level. So I'm um, looking for someone with blue skin. I don't say that very often. Um, just looking at the this hangout area. What's this? Examine information. Starbase 128 has four docks. It sure does. And there's food. I'm not going to take somebody's food, am I? Replicated meal. I'll replicate myself a meal once I'm on board. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Darth Plato. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You know, I'm not the greatest driver, but yeah, Excuse I guess me. I do. Have you seen a Bolian around here? <laughs> yes, sir. Right back there, near the replicator. Absolutely, uh, Tom. Ah, blue skin is awesome. Thank you. And I just saw Happy somebody with green there. skin. Green skin is awesome too. Game looks good so far. Waiting for mine to download. All right, Chef. Uh, Chief Na Chef Nation. Chief Nation. Chef Nation. Can't wait to see what you think about the game. This looks, this is going to be so much fun just to kind of enjoy the environment. We just want to have that immersive and fun experience of being on board something like this, which is what Excuse this is. Me. Sorry, guys. Pardon me there. Um, do we all, <laughs> don't we all park there kind of? We do, Thomas. Oh, look, I see a man in blue. And I don't just mean what he's wearing. Welcome to the edge of the galaxy, Commander Rydek. Thank you. I'm Commander Jan Ermont, Operations Officer on the Resolute. Commander? Certainly. I hope there wasn't too much trouble getting here. This storm isn't making anything easy for us right now. It was perfectly fine. No trouble at all. I'm glad to hear it. We're grateful you were able to come fill our first officer vacancy at such short notice. Vacancy? From everything I've read and everything I've heard, we're lucky you were available to us. Coming from a premier starship and all. To our little research vessel. What exactly have you heard about me? First in your class at the Academy. Received the Starfleet Award of Valor during the Dominion War. Most recently, tactical officer and chief of security on the USS Endeavor. Wow. You've done your homework. Like I said, we're very lucky. There's that view again, Tom. And there we are. Our new ship, guys. Being it's so big resolute. that you can't see it. She and one like much compared to the bigger ships, you, but as far as science you, vessels go, she can more than hold her own. You can't see it in one she area. So bad, considering six She's so big. Ago, she was nearly cracked in half, venting plasma fighting for her life. 
It was an accident? The equipment malfunction. <laughs> That's for Snowflake's ever fine. was Gore's brother. But yeah, Darth Plato. No one's to blame. It was a planned test, but the warp core was pushed beyond its He limits. says the vacancy word, uh-huh. Slight mystery, I'm sure, action. and it was a fast turnover, Thomas. We thought we could reach a higher resonant frequency, but... I wonder why it was such a fast turnover. Cost us our first officer and 22 of our crew. Oh, that's terrible. At the end of the day, we're all responsible for each other. I can't even begin to imagine what that must have been like for you. I'm so sorry for your loss. Mm -hmm. So guys, you can see telltales that they tell like a story. You have to respond. There are some things you can't forget. It's been six months. What's the attitude among the crew now? Unsettled. But I hope that a new mission will help them move forward. If not, move on. Listen. I realize you've known Captain Solano for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you're ready to bring your best. But I should warn you that when the captain announced you would be the new first officer, there were those who felt it was a mistake. Me too, Thomas. From within. I enjoy but this type of story. First. Um... Until they come to value your contributions as much as he does. Thank you. Always good to have a sense for what you get a chance, I highly recommend the Telltale series for Batman. Yeah, Sh uh, Chef Nation, I'm going to try it. Now that I know it exists, I didn't even know it existed. So if you press this, this kind of tells you the impression it makes amongst the crew members. And here I made a good first impression. And here, uh, he was nervous. When, you know, and it seems like he was happy and that it was good that that happened. So you want to try and make a good impression amongst the crew. Morale does matter, especially in space, because you don't want a situation that ends up like, you know, the thing or something. So, um, yeah, uh, Telltale's a five minute drive from uh, me. Really, Darth Plato? Oh, wow. Those guys are amazing. Thank you. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Will we be mission ready in time? We have every intention. The crew has been working around the clock to get the ship ready. Oh, look, so Thomas. To look, Tom. <laughs> look, Tom, Drew Jackson. Did you see that? <laughs> L-S. Uh, What's L-S? Oh, okay. Oh, who's this guy? Hmm. Hmm. This is a PlayStation 5, Thomas Bertoldi. Find the plasma torch. Um, this looks like a plasma torch to me, but I don't know. Let's see. Yep. R2. A lot of people don't like this kind of game because of like the slowness of it but I just like it I've always liked stuff like this okay it'll feel very kind of um, slow or whatever I don't care I just like the immersiveness like you're actually doing something um, it's uh, the the controller the controller the R button so I have to control it while I'm playing. L2 and R2 button, the left and the right buttons. R2. RS. What's RS? Oh. It feels you're controlling it more, absolutely. That needs to be cleaned out. R S and what? Oh, um, but all of them, and then R two. Okay. Is that? What I really like about these games is that you can take your time and go at your own pace. Agreed, uh, Chef Nation. I'm excited for the Batman one. I'm gonna order that and play it. 
Oh, lower decks, guys. The lower decks. Are we going to see any familiar characters? I thought that thing was totally fried. Nice work, Carter. Nothing to it, Nelly. And not a moment too soon. The boss wants us down in engineering. Like, now. Mm-hmm. Go, engineering crew. Use L while moving to run. Which L? Do I have to run? Are there directional arrows? Do I know which way to go? Oh, wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> they really did a good job with this game. Yeah, look at how cool it looks. I'm like, I'm on this ship and I'm, <clears throat> I'm walking on the ship. How many characters are you controlling? Right now, just one. Uh, two, actually, Darth Plato. Um, the commander and this young man. I'm liking... Exo just arrived. Won't be long before we get underway. Or yeah, it looks good. Chovok called us down for it's something good. I can never tell with him. I'd rather not end up degaussing plasma manifolds. Hanging upside down makes me queasy. You and me working together? We can tackle anything he throws at hey, us. Hey, Delta Ray Studios, yeah, how are you? I don't know whether it's um, open world, but it feels like it is. It, it has a nice feel to it. I would love if it was um, like open world. Before. Lieutenant Commander Chovak. Who? We were just looking for you, Commander. Petty Officers yeah. Ed Salar, Diaz. I was beginning to think you would be late. Hmm. We are all hands on deck right now, which means if you are not at your post at the appointed time, I do not have someone to replace you. Got it. Point I have been forced to make to Petty Officer Edzelar on repeated occasions. Oh. Uh, apologies for the delay, Commander. I do not want your apologies. Simply Just see be here on time. Happen again. Mm -hmm. So I don't suppose you wanted us down here to check in before <laughs> we go off duty? <laughs> Equipment case. How are y'all doing? We're doing great Delta Ray Studio 3. Structural integrity <clears throat> optimal performance. The subspace distortions and ionic interference we are experiencing are preventing the proper calibration. But this ship must be ready to depart shortly. Okay. Despite the storm. Understood. The precise nature of these disturbances are not fully understood. But many systems have been affected by the wide band of emissive activity. Whatever it throws at us, we'll be ready. Yeah. The best chief engineer in the fleet. I am a Vulcan, Mr. Diaz. Flattery is not necessary. I don't think he was kissing your butt. Your he was just saying a fact. Right now, that entails critical preparations, because long-range sensors show that these disturbances will be more severe at our destination, the Hotari system. You have your orders. Do not delay. Yes, Roger Commander Chovak. All hands on deck. Oh, what's that? All hands on deck. That's what Chovok said. Getting to write what about baseball means? in a superhero story, heck yeah. This ship isn't Just to go saying. out and the brass know it. Mm -hmm. So they're throwing every warm body at it. And they're going to leave on schedule. Consequences be damned. It all comes down to us, Nilly. We're the ones who will get it ready. That's right. I know what we can do. But this... So she's a trill. Or any old I only just noticed that. Oh! <gasps> Excuse me. A lot of new faces coming on board. It's got to be tough coming as a replacement. That's yeah, sure. but we got to give them uh, a chance. They seem all right. Something that happened six months ago while they were off on another ship. Well, that's nothing to hold against them. Yeah, you're right. I guess getting a little new blood on board doesn't hurt. Hold on. So there's an old face I didn't expect to see again. Hey! Hey, hey girl! Hey! What's up? Yeah! yeah. We thought you were staying on the Adirondack. <laughs> I don't know her, but I just had to do that. <laughs> I figured I'd slip on this bucket of bolts. <sighs> Looks like you got What's her back up? pretty nicely. I wouldn't know what to expect. 
I'm gonna take the high road here, pretend you didn't say that, and welcome you aboard. Mm-hmm. He's a better diplomat than I am. He still owes me a bottle of Saurian brandy. Mm. Don't think I forgot. Oh yeah, it's coming back to me now. Maybe Carter can wrestle up that bottle and we can give you a proper one. Oh, Darth Plato. As soon as we wrap up this quick little spacewalk. Ooh, doing a spacewalk. Let's do this. Here, let me help you. Thanks. So what's the word? Are you back in the security rotation? Yep. Still running with the usual suspects. Whoa. Yeah, Hunter, it does look pretty good, doesn't it? Good to go. <laughs> See you on the other side. Mm hmm. Activating magnetic souls. Roger activating. As Worf said, threesome. That is correct, Thomas Bartholdi. All right, so how do I activate it? I have to push or pull or um, move the... Oh, okay. Roger that. LS, do I remember how to do this? <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> Menage a Troy, right? <laughs> Space ship walk, awesome guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the USS Resolute. Gonna be our home for this mission, guys. Love the view, says Thomas Bartoli. Agreed. Wow! That was cool. Captain Solano should be here momentarily. Hmm. Thank you. I like that, how they went through the glass. That was cool. You'll have to forgive me. I don't know much about Kobleons. But my understanding is you need a steady supply of deridium to keep your cell structure stabilized, or bad things start to happen. I didn't know that. I, for me, I it's iron, but okay. Sick bay, so there's no risk of running out. Thank you. That is kind Feel of him. Feel free to make yourself at home. And help yourself to whatever you like from the replicator. Awesome. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing, guys. I... <laughs> All right. So I guess I can go ahead and uh, get whatever I want from the replicator, I guess. Let me go ahead and do that now. Um, so this is the cap. This isn't my, this is not my quarters. This is the captain's quarters, right? This is the captain's quarters. Starfleet Academy, Zachary Solano. Keeps this around. Don't even know where mine is. <laughs> Jara Ryden. Hey. Last time I saw you, it was graduation from the academy. Hey. You secured one of the most prestigious assignments possible, and you were burning with enough ambition to fuel seven trips around the Necrot Expanse. It's good to see you again, Captain. I could not be happier to have you on the Resolute. The only regret is. Couldn't provide you with a warmer welcome. The arrival of a first officer to her new ship deserves a bit of fanfare. That would be totally unnecessary. I don't need any pomp and circumstance. I don't know. I'll take the pomp and circumstance. I'm cool with pomp and circumstance. <laughs> As I'm sure you've heard, we've had a rough go of it these last six months. The ship suffered some damage. Mm hmm. But not nearly as much as the crew. You'll have to forgive me. I don't really know the details. 
No. Starfleet has been kind enough to keep the story contained. Probably because they want to protect me. But I don't mind telling you. We were on the verge of a major scientific breakthrough. A quantum leap forward in warp core technology. What? 10,000 teradynes per second. The ability to travel at a sustained rate of speed longer and faster than we ever dreamed. Wow. What would have been the crowning achievement of my career? Right there. Within our grasp. <sighs> Till it all went so horribly wrong. We pushed her too hard and a warp core malfunction overloaded the system. Gosh. The pressure gradient way beyond what the ship can handle. It was heartbreaking. It sounds heartbreaking. We lost some of our best people. As captain, I have to take full responsibility. It was my decision to make. And I have to live with the consequences. You're being too hard on yourself. It wasn't your fault. It's not a question of blame. It's about responsibility. No matter what the circumstances. In my defense, I will say, I might have avoided the whole ordeal if my senior staff had been willing to trust me. There was a lot of pushback from my former XO. It's a trust issues on the ship. I don't want you to pull any punches. Certainly not on my account. But once we decide on a course of action, I need everyone to fully commit to the mission. Got it. I won't let you down. Anything short of that. You can rely on me, Captain. Work. And that's when things start to go sideways. Whether I agree or disagree, I can promise that I'll be honest to a fault. Absolutely. Good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Good. But at the end of the day, it has to be my call. Look, I'll be blunt. We can't afford another mistake. Or at least, I can't. I feel like my career is hanging in the balance here. Gotcha. We need a win. Something we to do. restore the crew's confidence. I understand. On a more positive note, Starfleet has tasked us with what they're calling a mission of the highest priority. Escorting a senior diplomat to Hotari space. Two previously peaceful and otherwise non-aggressive civilizations now find themselves on the brink of all-out war. So it's a peacekeeping mission. Hey, Anonymous. I see it is a golden opportunity to not only prove what the Resolute and her crew are truly capable of. Yes, it's a new Star Trek Resurgence game, Anonymous. Qualified. This ionic storm. Our long-range sensors suggest it's several orders of magnitude stronger than anything on record. A total anomaly like nothing we've seen before. And you'll never guess where it leads. Hatari. Exactly. Very nearly in the precise location where we're headed. Where I imagine the interference will be exponentially greater. But the diplomat will brief us on the details of the rendezvous. Who is the senior diplomat we're escorting? That I don't know. Starfleet hasn't said. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. I expect we'll have some rough sledding when we arrive, so I need you to prepare the crew for the worst. There's just one more thing I want to clarify up front. The metric that, for me, will be the ultimate measure of your success. What is it? If, after serving as my first officer, you don't one day find yourself with a ship of your own, then I will consider it my personal failure. Isn't that, like, a that lot to, like, you. put on me? It goes without saying. You have my full support. It's been a dream of mine since before I can remember. So I would be honored to become a captain someday. As long as you're willing to do the work, you have my promise. I'll do everything in my power to see that it happens. Thank you. Come. Let me introduce you to the crew. All right, enjoy some writing and quite frankly hanging out on YouTube watching this. And also enjoyable. Yes, Thomas. I didn't get a chance to replicate myself anything, but that's okay. Let's go and meet the crew. I'll get a beverage later. All right, here's the crew on the bridge, guys. Everyone, if I could have your attention for a moment, I'd 
I'd like to introduce Commander Jara Rydan, our new first officer. <laughs> Some quick introductions. This is Lieutenant Handar, our helmsman. I, I kind of feel like Star Trek is perfect for Telltale. Well, Something like this. Humility. Yeah, I would know. love a Vulcan a Mocha man. Coffee Double Sweet. Likewise. Next, I'd yeah, love one of those. Commander Westbrook, our chief science officer. I've come to rely on his expert counsel on a regular basis. Pleasure. <laughs> it is such an honor to meet you. This is our tactical officer, Lieutenant Bedrosian. I've been looking forward to meeting you for about as long as I can remember. <laughs> I've been following your career for quite some time. And I look forward to learning as much as I can from you. If anything, the honor is mine. Well, I have to admit, one of the reasons I've followed your career is because you're part Kobliat. Because of what you've overcome. Starfleet stands up for people who can't defend themselves. And you were one of those people once. But yeah. since then, you've done so much to protect others who need it. I really... Mm -hmm. Hey, Donnie, I didn't know so, you had a channel. You've been something of an inspiration to me. Not that I've done Aww. anything close to what you've done, but you definitely set a standard to strive for. You really do know a thing or two about me. I'm glad I could inspire you. Bless you. To chart your own path. Thanks. You can count on it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Donnie Pearson, I didn't know you had your own channel. You've already met Commander Ermont. Please do everything you can to make Commander Rydeck feel at home here. Yes. I'll be on the Starbase. I'll be on the Starbase. Bless you, Mom. I have an urgent meeting with the Starbase commander to get our authorization to get underway. If they drag their feet any longer. The bridge is yours. Well, thank you. Sit in the chair when ready, guys. I guess I'm going to go ahead and sit on down. Take a seat. Ah. Chief Engineer Chovak needs to lower the structural integrity field. <laughs> he sent a crew out to recalibrate the emitters in response. To Seventeen the years. Oh my gosh, Donnie. Wow. Donnie, it's always a pleasure. Permission, Permission granted. granted. Lowering structural integrity <laughs> field now. Enter. Inactive? The storm is getting worse. Looks like they and they're set. outside in space. Right. Let's get to that emitter. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Look at this cool angle, guys. Is this not the coolest thing? <laughs> Look at how crazy this is. Every time we're out here, I half expect to see her in pieces again. She's still got some scars on her. It adds character. When I joined Starfleet, all I wanted was a ride out of town. But this isn't exactly how I think <laughs> You're right, Donnie, it is Coming amazing. <laughs> no. Sometimes it feels like we're just part of machinery. Don't you want more than that? Everybody wants I mean, more. Starfleet is noble and all, but it's still a machine. A massive, massive machine. Yeah, of course I do. Starfleet's an open door. Yeah. We just have to walk through it. And it's free travel, guys. I enlisted because I didn't want to wait years just to get out and see the galaxy. I wanted to go somewhere. See new worlds. Mm -hmm. sky, it's like watching a new series, but you get to play in it as if you were in it. Yes. Yes, Thomas. Everything. That's what I love about Telltale Games. Diaz to Commander Chovak. We are at the SIF emitter. Acknowledged. Chovak you keeps making me think of Tuvok. <laughs> Better sort of game than falling down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true it is true guys hey Efren, how are you yeah um clearly oh wait it's this one and then that one so good to see you Efren guzman welcome 
Yeah, Dr. Plato, I don't miss falling down every five minutes. But there are some points in the game where I'm going to have to... It, it might happen. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Beginning recalibration. You got to get to mess with the Vulcan. <laughs> That's funny. Two nodes in center. Okay. R is to move tool and R2 is a two node. All right. This will take me a little bit. R, move tool. Oops. I missed it. I it was it was like tuning perfectly before. Oopsie doodle. Feels like that's right. Looks good. That wasn't so hard. Uh oh. You it's not a good sign. Right? Chief Science Officer. You remembered my name and my rank. Impressive. Yes, I am the Chief Science Officer, and I have the dubious honor of being the most senior officer on this bridge. I know this ship inside and out. Better than just about anyone. What a very impressive list of credentials. This is a research and discovery ship, first and foremost. Now with a former tactical officer as its new first officer. Oh, he feels he should have been curious, first officer. Though, a Kobliad, or half in your case is an odd choice for first officer, given your vulnerable condition and all. But if, as an example, we found ourselves in a hostile situation, and you were suddenly incapacitated because you needed an infusion, what would happen then? What's the ring for? You'd leave Captain Solano without an XO. Granted, that would be a worst-case scenario, but not outside the realm of possibility. That's very kind of you to be concerned about my well-being. But you don't need to trouble yourself on my account. I'll be fine. Well, I wouldn't say I was concerned. Just curious, that's all. He's kind of nosy. Listen. But he wanted to be, maybe he wanted to be for... To stop now. Have to, I don't know. So she doesn't knock his front teeth. <laughs> His Ain't gonna happen. And his reputation was without equal. I mean, so, disrespect, but listen, don't compare yourself to other people, to bruh. Don't <laughs> ever compare it yourself. And he was one of my closest friends. So I can only hope that you'll live up to expectations. I don't think I could ever replace Commander Sutherland. And it would be a mistake to even try. Yeah. Seeing as Captain Solano is on the Starbase, let me give you an update on this ion storm we're flying into. It's unusual, unlike anything I've ever seen. At the moment, I can't tell you if the Resolute will shrug it off or if we're putting ourselves at risk. However, if we learn more about its patterns, its nature, we can come up with a sign. Now, why was her ring, like, glowing? Just a moment. Does she need an infusion? Well, that's not a good sign. We've got a massive energy wave inbound on screen. They're outside. Tracing its trajectory. The Starbase docking clamps are holding. The storm's emissions are fluctuating, coming in waves. And if my projections are right, we're about to get hit by a wide band burst of ionic energy. This like is terrible. I'm reading power abnormalities all over the ship. Estimated time to impact, two minutes. Oh. Red alert. Bye. Ah. 
I'm not prepared for this. Evacuating main gangway and retracting. But there are two people outside in a spacewalk. What's going to happen to them? We can't take a direct hit. Time to impact. One minute. Shield systems are severely impacted. We have limited protection. I need every available solution. What are our options? We can weaken the impact of the storm with a deflector pulse. Okay. Wait, there's a... I'm sending all auxiliary power to the deflector dish. Send the aux power to the shields. We can't reactivate the entire shield bubble, but it's a directional threat. So we can orient all we have towards the wave. You have to believe me. We only get one shot at this. We can't afford to get it wrong. Bedrosian, get those shields up. Rerouting power to shields. Stand by. I need a heading. We've only got one shot. Oh my gosh. Understood. On my command. LF. Heading locked. Raise shields. This is it. All hands. Brace, Brace for impact. For impact. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm fine, Mom. I'm okay. Oh, oh gosh. Supercharge the plasma, forcing it to backflush through the system and creating a dangerous imbalance. It can blow out every primary system on the ship. Just tell us where you need us. I need you to traverse the hull to the access port to recalibrate the port in a cell plasma regulator. Oh my gosh! They were only going out there to tune up some stuff. Now they have to walk across the ship? We've reached the first access point. Understood. Do you see the override for the level one fail safe circuits? Mm-hmm. Yes, I see it. Um, it is right there, cat um Affirmative. Mm-hmm. Engage the override. Okay. It should allow us to stop the EPS flow to the warp engine without triggering an automatic core shutdown. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Starfleet. Thanks, Thomas. <clears throat> <laughs> Failsafe override engaged. Are you sure? I am registering some crosstalk in the bypass circuit. What? We need to route the signals so they don't interfere with each other. Gotcha. Thank goodness she was there. I wouldn't have known I had to do that. Oh yeah, this is what we've seen people do this before. Dears to Resolute, the fail safes are temporarily disabled. Moving on to the EPS regulator. Heads up, Carter. What is that? One what of is the discharges that? coalesced. It's coming right toward us. What is it? I'm gonna try to disrupt it with my phaser. Is this the fantastic four moment? L2 to aim and R to fire. So Ooh. we gotta climb up the pylon. Not that there's really an up, but you know. All right. Use your phaser to clear a path. Okay. Uchi. Are you alright? Yeah. Yep, I'm fine. I just so almost killed myself. You snuck up on me. That damaged your suit. Energy dampening is down to sixty percent. Phaser. You guys know I'm not as fast as I could be. L2. Oops. 
Um, phaser. Okay, phaser. L2, aim. It's gonna hit me. L2. Okay, okay, okay. L2. Okay, phaser. L2. Okay, it's only one side. Phaser. Aim. Oops. Oh. I didn't know I could keep my phaser just on like that. I didn't know you could use a phaser for this purpose. How long can I use my phaser for? There's one on the side. Oh, did she get it? Okay. Okay. I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. I've never had to use a phaser in space before, so you have to excuse me. I, I, this is my first time. I didn't know you could do this with a phaser. They're pretty handy, right? I got hurt because I kept, um, what's the word? Oop, I don't want to hurt her. Oops, get that. I don't even know what I'm... It, they're, they're like plasma disruptions or out-of-control plasma. And it's neutralizing the out-of-control plasma distortions along the hull. Phasers indicate that there are distortions that could harm your suit. I didn't know I could keep my phaser just up here. Because I thought you had to, like, do something with it each time. I could just pressing the whole button. I have, I'm not, like, putting it back in my holster or anything. I'm just using it. I didn't know I had to do this in this game. I didn't know I would be using a phaser on plasma. Is there a history of using phasers uh, for plasma disruptions? Does anybody know? There's got to be somebody who knows. <laughs> Someone must know. If anybody knows, let me know. Oh, there's a big one. Look at that one. We got to get that one. Yeah, we don't want to get any plasma distortion. On the whole, we'll do this as long as we can not sort of a five minute thing. Well, maybe it is five minutes, but. Okay. Okay. Uh. What? Oh my God. What? So, what happens if I retry in story mode or retry? Let me just retry it. So we got to climb up the it. pylon. Not that there's really an Okay. Option, you know. Was I supposed to be moving forward? Maybe I was supposed to be moving forward.
Maybe that's what it was. Awful at aiming, guys. Terrible at aiming. Oh, okay. I wasn't moving. That's why. <laughs> Oops. There was something bad behind me. We're at the regulator. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm supposed to be moving. That was... time before it causes an overload in the engine. Okay. You must work efficiently. Okay, I will. Um, R2. I can't see the other part. Okay. R2L. And I can't see what I'm doing. Is it this way? Okay. Okay, R is to move. R, which R? Is it just that one? R to grab control, R adjust control. There we go. I don't know what the setting's supposed to be. Okay. Does anybody know what the setting's supposed to be? Okay. The EPS lines to the Fort Warp engine are back in balance. <sighs> Almost done. Oh my god. Oh That's my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Those are the docking clamps. Run! Run behind in the cell! Oh! <gasps> oh! Get down! Dears to bridge! We just lost the docking clamp. We've got a lot of debris coming down. All vibrations, too. We can't finish the EPS regulation in these conditions. Please advise. We have to release the ship from that other docking clamp or the hull will be ripped apart. There's a problem. The clamps are supposed to disengage automatically in an emergency, but it's not working. Not working? They what have to be done options? manually. The docking clamps are fitted with exploding bolts for an emergency release. We've got crew out there. That'd be like setting off a bomb next to them. Maybe there's another way. Starbase is hailing us. Put them through. Resolute, the remaining mooring arm is failing. You need to disengage from the Starbase now. The damage to the station will be catastrophic. All right, Starbase, we're on it. Acknowledged. Commander, hear me out. Reverse the polarity of the hull, which theoretically will repel the docking clamps and repel the engineering crew right off the hull into the storm. This is Captain Solano. Put me on screen. Go ahead. Captain, we have a situation. Commander, what are you doing? This isn't your call to make. Blow the... The captain doesn't know the whole story. I'm giving you an order. Yes, sir. Disengaging the clamps. They're gonna get hammered with debris out there. The captain made himself quite clear. Reverse the polarity. I'm not gonna disobey those it orders. Protocol. And there are lives. What is the holdup? I'm We're not gonna to disobey the orders. Starbase, stand by. We'll warn our crew to take cover. Get it done, Rydek. Repair 
Air crew, this is Acting Captain Jara Rydek. Be advised, you have more micro debris incoming. Find cover. Where? Nilly, get into the access panel. It's armored with uranium. But what about you? Carter, there's one right there, bro. There's no way. R2? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing! Oh. Okay. Oh my god! Plasma imbalance is reaching critical condition. We are moments from primary system failure. I got it. I can't see what to do. <laughs> oh, L S. Is that I'm just supposed to circle around? How do you know what to do here? It's like some weird kind of balancey thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Repair crew, this is acting Captain Jara Rydek. Be advised, you have more micro debris incoming. Go okay. Cover. Cover? Right. Nilly, right. Get under the access panel. It's armored with uranium. But what about you? Carter. Maybe we can both fit behind this. from primary system failure got it, got it. okay This is harder, this part. Yeah, this is like an episode out of Voyager. Okay, let's go. Officer Edsalar's hurt and unconscious. I'm 
We're gonna have to tow her back to the airlock. Mr. Diaz, the situation has changed. Mr. Diaz, the situation has changed. It has come to my attention that you are at risk of triggering a subs... But Commander, the way we came is the nearest airlock. There is an auxiliary hatch near you on the far end of the pylon. You must bring Miss Edsilar there to access the interior. Okay. Go in there now. Oh! That's crazy. Just no get in the hatch, guys. Us. Just go. Not on your life. Let's not let it come down to that. <sighs> oh, come on. Oh my gosh <sighs> yes I'm fine mom everything's okay I'm just playing the game I'm sorry mom I mean to scare you oh my goodness gracious guys <sighs> oh my gosh guys yeah this is uh, much more involved than what I thought it would be oh Oh my goodness gracious. The price of duty. Millie. I'm good. Help me with him. Is he alive? Oh! Oh, Medical. ouch. Got one wounded at my location. Carter. You don't look so good. You gotta be more careful. I just got here. I'm not ready to see you two get blown to space dust just yet. Oh my god. Now let's get you down to sick bay. Great. Wow. That was more intense than what I thought it would be. Status report. The repair crew made it inside. EPS flow is back to nominal levels. The SIF is back up. How does this affect mission readiness, Mr. Ermat? The Resolute suffered damage from the exploding bolts. But we've successfully moored to the station. The ship is secure. Our systems are coming back online, but we have a fair amount of repairs before we're ready to go. Okay. Put a halt on the roll off of Starbase Engineering staff. We have a schedule to keep. Send updates to my ready room. Commander Rydek, with me. All right. <sighs> what a debacle. I was caught with my pants down. Mm. Not even on my own ship when the wave hit. I had to go running out of the Starbase commander's office just to... <sighs> but you followed my order. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Hell, I'm relieved. You're the captain of this ship. You give orders, and I'll execute them. That's right. But you see my problem, don't you? So the green around his picture means that he me has more confidence on with her. My orders. 
I'm not blind to it. <laughs> if there are any problems, I'll keep them in line. Mm -hmm. At least I can count on you. Hmm. Drink time. Drink? Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, yes, please. Thank you. Now, wasn't her... Did you guys see her ring? She's wearing a ring on her finger, and it was pulsating. What did that mean? Your predecessor, Commander Sutherland is missed. But for all the adoration of the crew, including the senior staff, I just couldn't rely on him. He would question, undermine me in front of the crew. I sometimes think they still hear his voice. That sort of thing is a way of lingering. And you can't argue with a ghost. Captain, Perhaps you and the crew would be better served if you look at this mission as a fresh start. Absolutely. You can never really leave the past behind. If we don't, you can never move forward. Now, this won't be easy. But I'm glad I have you here with me. Glad to be here, Captain. And despite it all, we've got our final Starfleet clearance to depart. So if you'll fetch Mr. Ermot. We'll knock out the final details of any outstanding repairs, and then we'll set out for Hotari. Got yes, it. Oh my gosh, guys. That was one interesting event. Uh, all I ask is a tall ship. Okay. It's like episodes. As you guys said, straight out of Voyager. I can't remember who said that, but somebody said that. A hunter. All departments reporting full mission readiness. All departments reporting full mission ready. This is my favorite moment, right now. The start of a new mission is always full of possibility. The Orion Syndicate could sell it as a drug. <laughs> Don't let the Admiralty hear you say that. Captain on the bridge. Sit. Sit, everyone. You all know, I'm not big on speeches. We're embarking on the first mission since our refit. Okay. Let's make it a good one. All right. Disengage docking clamps. Thank you to the 13 of you who are watching as they are about to disembark. Docking clamps released. Thrusters ahead, Mr. Proceed at one half impulse or something like that. He said thrusters ahead and then one half impulse. Yeah, it was like watching a TV show. It really was, Thomas. Boss Oldie. I love that. I love how they did that. <laughs> you guys have to love this. That was the coolest thing ever. Me? That's right, my dear. Engage. Yes! I got to choose the word I put engage, but I could have said make my way or something. Simple, but effective. 
Mm-hmm. I think I'll take my seat, if you don't mind. Easy. Thank you. I'm fine. Why did she I'm almost fall down? I, uh, you don't look so good. It's that ring. What's going on? How much does she have? She's critical. Go. What is that thing on her arm? Well, that was quite a scare. A few minutes more and it would have been one of the shortest tenues on record for a first officer. Is that the engineer that was out on the hull? That storm did a real number on him, but he'll live. Just needs rest. You should worry about yourself. Your deridium levels got dangerously low and destabilized your cell structure. This is definitely one of the more memorable first days I can think of. My name is Dr. Aram Duval, Chief Medical Officer. To be honest, I've never met a Kogliad before. You're rare, I know. I was going to say special. Your people's numbers have dwindled, despite the Federation's efforts to find a more readily available alternative to the Duridian you need to survive. Yet you joined Starfleet, and manage to thrive. I imagine the responsibility must be overwhelming. Maybe even a burden at times. I don't like the attention it brings. Being treated differently than everyone else. But you are different. That's not something you can change. True. But sometimes it makes it even more difficult than it already is. And don't worry, I won't treat you like a science experiment. I just do the science and leave the experiments to Solano. You don't <gasps> agree with his methods? Oh! I don't agree with his definition of acceptable risks. Wow. The lives of your crew are at stake. My professional opinion is that the accident took a toll. More than he's willing to admit. <gasps> he's overstressed, operating in the pressure cooker of his own mind. Oh my god. There's never a good headspace when the lives of your crew are at stake. My goodness. Tell me how you really feel. Further away from the thing he's been chasing his entire career. The breakthrough discovery. The major innovation. Something he can put his name on. The more the time passes and the further out of reach it gets, the more risk he'll be willing to take. I hear hey, Justin Channel. That's my job, isn't it? His greetings. Sure Imagine if you could have shared hello. RM, good evening, and thank you for exactly streaming this so evening. Glad. Meet new game A, yes. Now, this is Star Trek Resurgence, guys. I was concerned when I heard what happened on the ring. Just followed Solano's orders despite having better options in front of you. Really? Huh. I guess word travels fast around here. It's a small ship. And everyone's curious about the new XO. Fortunately, your cell structure is almost completely stabilized. And I'll spare us both the lecture, but I do feel it's my responsibility to remind you, without regular infusions of deridium, you will not live. It's as simple as that. Why wouldn't she get her deridium infusion? Understood. Then, my work here is done. Lieutenant Bedrosian, I came to see if you were okay. We were all pretty worried on the bridge. No one knew what was happening. I'm feeling much better. Thank you. It's just part of who I am. You don't have to explain to me. I understand. I'm just glad you're okay. You trusted me earlier with the shields, and I appreciated that. I want you to know that I have your back. Thank mm. you. <laughs> now, Carter, 
The emissions that gave you that burn are quite unusual, like everything else that goes with this storm. That's a combination of hyronolin and lectrazine to counter the radiation effects. That should help speed your healing. She's come by a couple of times to see you already. Mm-hmm. She's got to make sure he's okay. Hi. It's good to see you awake again. Friendship bonding. Oh, they're bonding. Thomas Bartoli, they are bonding. You did take one hell of a shot, though. You know, you can't get rid of me that easy. Don't push me, Diaz. You do not want to see me try. No, nope. <laughs> I am not getting on your bad side. I am a formidable enemy. <laughs> Millie was looking in on you too, by the way. But since it's just us right now, I... I just figured I'd... I to think about this while I was away. Ooh. And I thought it was important that I just come out and tell you. Instead of tiptoeing around it. Or worse, leaving it unsaid. It's okay, Miranda. You can tell me anything. I know that. Then come on. Mm. Just spit it out. <laughs> I'm trying. Let me talk. <laughs> he is kind of cute. Is, we've been really good friends for a long time. Yeah. I got back here and I couldn't ignore it anymore. What? I want to see if there's more between us. Oh my god. Just being friends. Oh my god. Are you sure about this? They're my feelings. Of course I'm sure. Well, I, I just mean seeing me in here. We almost got killed out on the hall. I felt this way before that, Carter. I like you. And I think there could be something more for us. So, what do you say? I like you too, Miranda. And I'd like to see where this goes. Oh my gosh. I didn't know I could even like decide for their relationship. Like this is so funny. Sorry. This reminds me of Mass Mass Effect Andromeda. If he wants to get back to his old self. Of course. I'll see you again soon. Wow, she really interrupted the, the hookup there. Oh boy. <laughs> he look at his face. He's like <laughs> I just think he's so stunned by what's happened. Guys are so easy, really? 95% are yes. You don't have sweat. do not sweat asking guy we are. <laughs> so <Soap> trek. <laughs> Ionic interference surging captain. Oh god, you guys, I love it. I love it all, guys. Thanks for for humoring me here, guys. <laughs> she put out the third wheel. She did. She did. I, Captain. So Let's the noise. Filter out environmental signals. I can okay. manually tune what's left for Federation signal types. I've located the shuttle. Opening comms. On screen. Oh my gosh. Shuttle to Resolute. Shuttle to Resolute. Debris field. Lost maneuvering. Ouch. Losing. I can't get it any clearer. <gasps> we won't get a transporter lock. It's just not happening. Power up the tractor beam. We'll pull them directly Man, that would have been bay. weird to say in another universe they made out in the med bay. Yep. <laughs> Late night roundabout engaging done in low gravity. Yes, sir. Uh, you sure? I'm sure. Man, he just got out of sick bay. What is he doing on... He should have been resting for a few days at least. On, yeah, this isn't fair. First thing, lock onto the shuttle and stabilize the rotation. Gotcha. Let's do it. There's the shuttle. Right there. Okay. Roger that. 
out for the big boulders. I'm on it. This is like, um, what's the name of the game? Asteroid. <clears throat> uh, I don't remember how to do it. Uh, is it this? Asteroid, the game. In real life. In... Okay. Oh no! Oh shoot. My bad. Oh no! That's gonna take out the shuttle. There's the bridge. There's a large piece of debris headed for the shuttle. The tractor beam can't handle it. Can our shields take it? I believe so. Commander Ryder, plot an intercept course. On it. Okay. Shield the shuttlecraft from the asteroid. Oh, I have to move my shuttlecraft? Okay. Got it. Here we go. Maneuvering thrusters bearing 53 Mark 7. I didn't even use any vectors or anything. Maneuvering. I hope I did this right. The, yeah, we definitely Rikered that. Refocus tractor beam, got it. Voila. We got the shuttlecraft on board. Good job. We're on our way down to meet them. Woo! Oh my gosh. Hope they're still alive. Terra firma, so to speak. Ambassador Spock. I didn't know this was happening. The captain will be right down to meet you, sir. In that case, I will wait for him here. My heart is pounding. Wow. Well, let me be the first to say... Welcome to the Resolute, Ambassador. Thank you, Petty Officer... Diaz. Carter Diaz, sir. I am pleased to meet you, Petty Officer Carter Diaz. It appears I have you to thank for my safe arrival. Your assistance arrived not a moment too soon, if I may say so. Well, it wasn't all me. I got some help from upstairs. A bombastic approach to clearing debris. We thought we were prepared for our arrival in Hotari space, but it is evident my craft was not sufficiently robust for such intense ionic activity. He's not happy. He had the red around him. Has been pretty intense. There was an element that was most unusual. Before you came to our aid, our maneuvering thrusters and impulse engines were rendered inoperable. So we attempted a short traversal at warp speed, only to find that we could not achieve warp at all. Even though our diagnostics computer... That's a good question. I have no idea. No or anomalies. I don't know, Marco. What do you make of that? But all indications say that warp speed is possible. But in practice, we find it is not. Well, this storm is one of the strangest phenomena we've ever encountered. It's disrupted other systems... Who knows what it might do to a warp drive? Yes, it would seem further investigation is called for. Take readings, 
run some additional diagnostic checks, and we'll get to the bottom of this. Quite logical, Petty Officer Diaz. Thank you. Ambassador you are welcome, Spock. Ambassador Spock. Excuse me. I'm honored to have you aboard. I'd like to get right to it. We're already behind. Wow, you made an impression. Diaz made an impression on Ambassador Spock. I have no idea if this is canon like Star Wars games are. I have no idea, Justin Channels. I'm so sorry, guys. A provocation to war. I love how they zoom in like this. No, it's not a Star Wars game. Marco, this is a Star Trek game. <laughs> Marco, I thought you knew. <laughs> Hi, Marco. Hope you are well today. It's not every day that a captain gets Basically a playing a character from Lower Decks without the comedy. You <laughs> just flatter me, detailed. Captain Solano. But legend implies the past tense, whereas I am very much focused on our present circumstances. I... I didn't mean to suggest you were stuck in the past. I'm going to have to get my mother a pair of headphones because she You're wants right, to hear what's going on. Not the most diplomatic choice of words. Your experience comes from the past. But our present situation calls for it. True enough. We were hoping you could fill <laughs> us in on the details. You were stuck on we a jumping the bit. Um, Two formerly that's in, uh, that was in Star, Star Wars... Um, Jedi Survivor, um, Marco. So this is in Star Trek Resurgence. It's a different game. <laughs> yeah, Justin Channel's mom needs headphones or something. I gotta get her something like that. Oh, right. This is Tau, the Hotari moon. It is rich in dilithium, and for decades, the Hotari and the Illidians have shared a mining operation there. The Illidians provide the technological resources, while the Hotari have served as the labor force. Oh. The stability of that arrangement was the source of their peace until recently. The Hotari have suddenly and forcefully seized control of the mining operations and expelled the Illidians from their system. Mm. That is the official story, as told by the Hotari. When they requested Federation mediation. <laughs> Justin, I was supposed to be streaming this on the Burr Network and on Positive Fandom, but I couldn't do it. Ionic interference. How is it the Hotari were able to turn the tables and take the minds against superior forces, especially after decades in this arrangement? So, technically speaking, he should have been watching it on the Burr Network. In fact, everybody could watch it on both. But I couldn't do it, so during these negotiations. It is what it is. But it is unlikely the relatively primitive I might upload this video to the Burr Network against the Illidian fleet if I can. This escalates to open war. Left unchecked, this conflict will result in more bloodshed, which is what we are here to prevent. And mm. the dilithium trade hangs in the balance. Clearly the Hotari have been exploited in this relationship. Maybe we can persuade them peace is the more profitable alternative for everyone. They both profited from the mines. Thank you, Tom. And the Hatari, something is it was, yeah. Us. Peace is our objective, after all. That is correct. If we could convince them, it would restore the peace. But we would need the Hatari to accept a difficult compromise. They need to talk less and fight more. <laughs> on both sides, no doubt. Neither the Illidians or the Hotari are members of the Federation, so we can't make them do anything. There mm. is an additional complicating factor I should mention. In the past, the Federation has relied on the Illidians as a source of dilithium. Mm-hmm. What? That certainly changes things. The Federation sources its dilithium from a lot of places. Yeah, and this is one of them. So we've already played a part in this. Unfortunately, that is indeed the case, Commander Rydak. We're morally obligated to make this right. Hold on. Our only obligation is to negotiate the peaceful resolution of this conflict. Given the Federation's involvement in the Illidium-Dilithium trade, 
Captain Solano and I must make every effort to appear neutral in these negotiations. What worries me is if this whole thing unravels and we're at the mercy of the storm at less than full strength. We can't let it come to that. Considering what the Ion Storm has done to our ship and the Ambassador's shuttle, we have to assume the Elidian fleet has had problems with it as well. This recent surge in the energy disturbance temporarily levels the playing field. Commander Westbrook is correct. Yo, we, do you choose the most confrontational response? Have been noted in the past. But they have never been observed on the orders of magnitude we have seen in recent weeks. That may answer why the Hotari were able to strike back after so long. They finally had an opportunity and they took it. That would also explain the Elidian's restraint. And reason to learn as much about the energy anomaly as we can while we are here. We do not want to be caught at a disadvantage of our own. So I trust we understand our circumstances. We're operating on a strict timetable here, and we're going to be leaving for the negotiations shortly. Commander Westbrook, I want you to leverage our systems to investigate the anomaly from here while we're gone. Aye, Captain. Thank you all. Dismissed. I want to speak to both of you privately. Oh. Ambassador Spock, I'd like to make a formal introduction. My first officer, Commander Jara Rydek. Commander. Oh, thank you, Lugnut Six. As you are aware, there are limits. Hello. Two beautiful space diamond jewel. Oh, Lugnut Six, you have such a beautiful way with words. But, but someone in an unofficial capacity. But someone in an unofficial capacity. Your first officer. Commander Ryder could ingratiate herself to certain parties behind the scenes, where they may be more well, thank candid, you, Donnie revealing Pearson. information that could lead to a resolution. What? She certainly goes her own way. Maybe goes my own way. Case. She would be unconventional. I'm perfectly happy to work outside the lines. And by extension, you will be doing your duty, Commander. Just not too far outside the lines. Okay. Well, I hope Commander Rydek will have more luck finding out what really I'm happened. surprised the captain agreed to this. <laughs> the fate of the negotiations, the interests of the Federation, and the prospect for peace may very well depend on it. Well, I'm surprised the captain is okay with this. There's a lack of... Dis there's a distinct lack of diversity here. Whom <laughs> I don't know, Marco. I don't know. <gasps> Oh, oh, it scared me. If Rob's observations was his own ship on a Starfleet, I'd be a Klingon uh, chef and engineer. <laughs> That's good to know, Thomas Martelli. Mr. Diaz, I understand you have already discussed the warp drive failure with Ambassador Spock? I have. It is imperative that the Ambassador's shuttle be flight ready. I need you both to ascertain the root cause of the system failures he encountered. Okay. I'm surprised, Commander. I thought you would have wanted to work on Ambassador Spock's shuttle yourself. I yeah. respect the Ambassador and his many accomplishments, but I do not derive any satisfaction from interacting with his shuttle as if it were somehow transubstantiated through its association with him. Especially when I have the entirety of this starship to concern myself with. I am not the chief engineer of this shuttlecraft. When you look at it logically, yes, it is just a shuttle. No different than any of the others. There is plenty that is different about it, and that is what you are to investigate. But please limit your findings to observable scientific phenomena. We'll try to restrain ourselves. Then I will leave you to it. Make note of any abnormalities. Yeah, the music is wonderful, report. Hunter, isn't it? Carry on. This is really it nice. Seems this is like, like he's a warming up to us. It's really good. Yeah. He's not warming up. You see, his his it Either should be green around. Look at that face and that. know you've earned some real respect. It was and either admit, that or hello to the inside of one. this world. I wouldn't mind being. I wouldn't right mind being. Um, Seeing her up on the spaceport. Either one would have made you. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> Thank you, Black Six. How many times? Call it even. Okay. Yeah, this is enjoyable and fun to watch. Track down that bottle of sorry and brandy you're still on the hook for. And guys, of course, you but could first, answer differently. 
in this game. You could you could take like a very different point of view in the game, um, and go. answer differently. All set. I'm trying to be as positive as possible, but even some of my comments are not appreciated by um, R2 to tap. Oh, diagnosis. <gasps> oh my God, this is awesome. Yes, the viewpoints are amazing as well, Donnie. You, you do? She sent me a priority one dispatch right after your conversation. I'm happy for you. Both of you. Thanks. But I'm only going to tell you this once. Uh-oh. Don't screw this up. Because yeah. I would be very unhappy if you tried this out and then... I don't know, six weeks or six days later. <laughs> yes, guys, do check and subscribe to the Burn Network. I've been distracted. There's all sorts of links in the chat. Well, because things went um, south and you're not on speaking terms. That just isn't going to work for me. Some people just like Optimist. What if the shuttle was sabotaged? Yeah, that's true, life, Justin. Yes. But you need to be careful. He's got very like my friends and girl. I like our group. He's got very girl on him that? like a hawk. Yeah. Yeah. Is that thing done yet? Yeah. Well, she's it's not interested. This this lady's See, not interested in him. She just doesn't want to be bothered to having her friends wrong. have their I hearts broken because attack. so many chicks are after him. From the warp drive could cause that. But, but I somehow don't think that he's uh, one of those guys who's alone a lot. Well, maybe the ship's data recorder can tell us something. All right. I love this. I can move his hand. You see, I'm moving his hand. The part that's blinking, this one, where it says data recorder. I can move the hand using the R button like this. I'll show you. I'm, I'm moving the hand using the R button with my thumb. I can go over this. Oops. <laughs> yeah, my TV just restarted. Just one second. I can go over the um, tap area like this, right there. And then if I press this button here, it'll click it. It's, it's the coolest thing ever. Um, <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. So now I see something else. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does need a Baylana. <laughs> oh, gosh. Can you make him scratch? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know. I kind of thought I would... What is this? Does it go... You know, I'm not seeing the full direction because... Oh, okay. It's this one. Here. Okay. They were only about eight minutes from their plotted warp point. No faults, just those warnings. No, Mom. What are they? What is that? That's a good question. Warp field inversion? I've seen this happen when the center warp coil cracks. A cracked warp coil throws a fault code. Still, we should take a look. There was a complete warp cascade failure. Wow. They're lucky the shuttle didn't turn inside out. Makes me think the computer panicked on the warp field equation. And the last choice, warp field inversion, warp cascade failure, and uh I can't read that. Variance out of tolerance. Oh, okay. What does that mean? It means know. the main navigation array lost sight of space somehow. Will the array going offline cause that? Yes, but it should have also thrown a fault code. Any one oh. of these failures should have thrown a fault. If it was caused by a system failure. None of this caused the relays to blow. Roll forward to when that happened. Yes, ma'am. All right, so let's see. L. So here, they take a moment to get their bearings, and they attempt to re-engage the warp drive. There. That's the relays blowing. And look, there's another warp system alert. And they're all the same. Subspace variants out of tolerance, or warp inversions. Finally, there's a complete warp cascade failure. Then it's one of two things. Either a warp coil is cracked, or the navigation array is offline. That makes sense. Divide and conquer. You want to check the warp coils or the navigation array? I'll check the other. Let's not overcomplicate this. 
One of these systems is likely broken. I'm gonna say the navigation array. I'll check the navigation array. Okay, your tricorder can record and analyze data. Looking through it will reveal unseen. Use uh, the square to equip it and R2 to scan glowing objects. Got it. Resume. Use the tricorder to investigate Spock shuttle. What's that? Like a, looks like a Rosalyn, um, it looks like Rosalyn, what's her name, thing, um, scan. Okay, I thought it was supposed to be glowing objects is what you, is what you, is that it? Yeah, maybe that's it. R2 to scan. So why isn't it scanning that? I have no idea if I'm doing this correctly, guys, but let's see. R2 to scan. So this is R2. I'm totally not running this correctly. The only thing I see is right there. R2 to scan. Oh, this is R2. That was the only thing I saw that looked different. Do, it, can I walk around? Yes, I can. Okay. I'm not doing a great job here, am I? I feel like something should pop out. I don't know. <laughs> then you sing like data scanning for the little malfunctions. I know, right? Where's... I don't even know. Holster. If I'm looking at his, and then Marco found Tribbles. <laughs> yeah, right? Let's look at it here. Let's look at it from this point of view. Let me look at it like this, okay? Let's get the tricorder out. I see like some panel there. Oh, some objects you use scan will activate deep scan during a deep scan. Use L1 and R1 to switch between different scan models and search for glowing objects. It in, will indicate, and Spock was reminded of all, indicate the object to find when you have scanned all the objects, frame will change color, hold L2 to analyze and finish the scan. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that was simple. I'm not even moving him right now. All right. Ah, I see. L1 and L2. I'm holding L1 and L2. I'm holding them. I'm holding them. The insulator circuits powering the subspace sensor array are functioning normally. Well, that's good to know. That's really good to know. Spock does has have those visions like in the movie, Rob shows us a stream yesterday. I'm sure he does. Guys, please like and subscribe. I'm not even paying attention. I haven't been paying attention to what's been going on, guys. 
um, chemical <laughs> um, the inso the isolinear circuits powering the subspace array. Okay. I can't get out of it. There must be something else here. I don't know what that other thing is, but it made me come back this way. Like it forced me to come over here. Like, is that something or is that just a reflection? And I can't, I can't come out of it. Spock has epic visions of awesome, beautiful moments. Tribbles would be something. <laughs> okay, Chemical Man's one of three anomalies detected. Okay. Maybe it does it automatically. I don't even know how long it's supposed to do it for. Does anybody know? <laughs> One of three anomalies detected. Okay, that's great. And I think I did um, R2 scan. So how do we get out of this? Okay. Biological scan mode. What, what was that one? This is the same one. I don't know what it's revealing. One of three detected. Okay, so this was one of them. It did a biological scan. It did a chemical scan. It did a radiation scan. Um, I'm guessing. Where's the other anomalies? Because I did see some other items. I, I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do, how it's supposed to look. Okay. Now there was, there was another, like, anomaly. But it was on the other side. We did that one already. It won't let me stay away from it. I can't, I can't move away from it. <laughs> All right. Um, let me see if I can walk over. I can't walk over. Any ideas, guys? <laughs> holster. I can't put it back in the holster. Like, it's not allowing me to do that. It's weird, you know? Does it say how to use it? Um, controls. No, that's right. That's the crew. And we looked at them already. And we know who everybody is. Okay. Some objects you can scan will activate a deep scan. During a deep scan, use L1 and R1 to switch between different scans. The mode indicators will blink if there is an object to find. When you've scanned all the objects, the frame will change color. Hold L2 to analyze the data and finish the scan. Hold L2 to analyze the data and finish the scan. So I think that we looked at that one already. L2, because it says one of three. Yes, I will. You're, you are welcome. You are so welcome. I am not sure, guys, how to get out of this part. <laughs> like, it's scanning, but I don't know how to stop it from scanning, which is fine. There's probably some... Um, and I am 
hitting the two hour mark guys of playing um, I might have to call it a night for at least for this game <laughs> um, one more right one more right okay over here Thomas so this is I only have one of three I thought I saw all three already It won't let me go past a certain area. What's that? What is that? That's on the floor. That's not even... Um... <laughs> I wish I could get out of this. Oh, there's... Is that the other... This is the exact same anomaly. But I can't seem to get out of the anomaly setting. But that's okay. Guys, I want to thank you all for watching this first episode of um, Star Trek Resurgence tonight. Um, I will probably play Star Trek, sorry, Star Wars um, Survivor later. But I do, I'm going to stop the stream for tonight. I'm probably, new gamer, I say yes, some Star Trek, yes, for some least. I will be playing uh, Jedi Survivor later on again uh, for 45 minutes tonight. But I did just want to thank everybody for showing up tonight. Um, I'm gonna up, I'm gonna try and upload this video to the Burnett Network and see if it'll work. <laughs> but I just want to thank all of you for your support tonight. Um, yeah, it was fun, wasn't it, Thomas? Um, it was a lot of fun um, playing this game, and I did just want to thank everybody for. Um, for, well, pretty much for everything, I guess. Um, and I did just want to say, where's my game? <laughs> I sure hope it's still in there. Uh, this is a cool game, guys. Thanks so much for the support here. Tom Jr. Jackson, we were all goof people. Thank you, Tom, for moderating. And um, we are all goof people. Guys, thank you for turning out for the first uh, um, gameplay for Star Trek Resurgence. Of course, I'm going to be playing this game much more. I'm still hoping... Yeah, I love the graphics to the Force Unleash. I'm still hoping to figure out how to get it onto the Burnett Rook properly, but we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, guys, I just want to thank you all for your support for coming out. Two hours of gameplay is a lot of gameplay. Um, I had a great time. This game is going to be a lot of fun to play, so I encourage anybody who wants to play, go ahead and get the game. It is a fantastic game. And guys, remember, um, <laughs> no matter where you are in the galaxy... Uh, you know, live long and prosper, of course, but no matter where you are in the galaxy, always remember to please be kind. Take care, everybody.